Welcome to Hitman Box. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So on February 25th, we're finally going to get to see Deontay Wilder versus Gerald Washington. Gerald Washington's the number 10 ranked opponent by the WBC. Obviously, Deontay Wilder had to find a new opponent because old boy from Poland popped dirty for pads. Okay, so Gerald Washington decided to take this fight on short notice. Um, you know, he's got a little over a month to prepare for the fight, right? But, you know, you know what pisses me off? Um, when Deontay Wilder says shit like this in the media, when he says dumb, stupid fucking comments to the media, I'm going to read off his statement about Gerald Washington. Gerald Washington, the only thing I can say about him is his height, the weight. I've done seen a couple fights and stuff like that. Do I think he's ready for this opportunity? Definitely not. He thinks he's ready, so we're going to find out February the 25th. Deontay Wilder's statement. He said he don't know if Gerald Washington's ready for this opportunity. Well, I got one question for you, Deontay Wilder. If you don't think Gerald Washington's ready for the opportunity, why the fuck are you fighting him on February 25th? Why? So you know this is a fucking cherry pick. You know this is an easy fight for you. Hey, I I get it. You're you're coming back from surgery. You know you had the problem with the hand and the bicep, and you want to test this shit out before you go ahead and fight tougher competition. But come the fuck on, bro. How many motherfucking bodies you got on your record that are cherry picks that are bums? Like, we sick of watching you fight these motherfuckers, man. We sick of you not challenging yourself, man. And I know this shit's been said many times before, man. But it's so fucking frustrating because I actually think that Deontay Wilder is one of the top heavyweights in the division. Yet, he continues to fight these fucking part-time boxers. Gerald Washington, an ex-football player... You know, the, the, the reason why he's fighting him, and, and he's mentioned this before, is because he's got respect for Gerald Washington. The, Gerald Washington never called him out on some hot shit in the media. Gerald Washington never talked shit about him. It was always respect when Gerald Washington and Deontay Wilder crossed paths. So that was the reasoning that he gave for fighting Gerald Washington. So, you know, there's really not much more to say about this shit. You know, obviously on February 25th, he's going to knock Gerald Washington out and fuck up this man's career because he's obviously not ready for the fight, you know. Maybe a year or two from now, he'd be more prepared. But, you know, right now you're just derailing this man's career. So I hope he's getting a, a nice fucking payday for this fight to get his ass whooped by Bum Squad. It's just fucking disgusting, man. Like I said, this dude needs to take some tougher opponents later this year. You know, hopefully after this fight, you know, he don't fucking end up having another injury to them brittle fucking hands of his. How do y'all think the fight's going to go? You think it's going to be a tough fight for Wilder? Because it, it's not. You know? Yeah, he's a ranked opponent, but come on, man. Come on, man. We know what it is. Y'all seen Gerald Washington fight, man? He fights scared. He not finna. He not finna beat Deontay Wilder. It's not even gonna be fucking competitive. He's gonna get knocked out in under five rounds, man. Let me know what y'all think of that fight, Hitman Boxing, man. I'm I'm fucking out of here. I don't care. Steady ignoring greatness A call bearing what you need when I come undertake it This hostile take over by the chill over I got the blueprints, I really do this, so move on over Stay in your lane, nigga, stay in your lane You steady running at the guns, but fucking suck at the game Ain't it a shame? It really is My words invoke fear I teach you lessons that I had you breaking down in tears Call me Joe Clark with a baseball bat 
changing up the doors and spelling all these niggas from rap, cuz they kill your brain cells, son. How don't you see it? They steady brainwashing you and then repeating, but tis the season for chill rage. I bring about change, but not Obama, cuz this nation I will never claim. I got my sights aimed at the top spot on the chop block.